going on internet today we will be taking a look at the x real air ar glasses i want to make sure i say that said that right their ar glasses they're 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 glasses with very small hdmi monitors in the lenses so when you put them on it just displays this giant screen and in this case 130 inches which is pretty it's pretty amazing if you just really think about it if you think about just how far we have come um in technology to where you used to have to wear these giant goggles in order to experience something like this so to be able to have it in a, a glasses format but on a regular like everyday type glasses to where it's not drawing too much attention very cool to me so just taking a look at the case and it looks like a pill it's a nice hard case and I, I i can't confirm i have dropped this a couple of times um you can probably see it on camera right there. there's a few scuffs but yeah it says air on the front nice little i wouldn't say sticker but i wouldn't say engraving either but it's on there looks good zipper to where if you wanted to you could attach this to something else yeah just overall it just feels good it's a nice protective case it's cool that they included that quick pricing on this at the time when i paid for it it was 197 dollars and this was about a week ago now this is what it looks like out of the case here at the front of the glasses right now i have the shades on shade functions as protective covering but then it also functions as shade for when you're in a bright environment and you just want to be totally immersed into the glasses easily removable I want to be careful with them though but you just pop it out black pretty cool microfiber cloth something you definitely want to keep up with with these glasses i know you can kind of see my steam deck in the background i did want it in the frame i didn't want it to show that it was recording audio but i guess now you guys know everything that i do with my steam deck you can use it as your multimedia hub so just taking a closer look at the glasses they look pretty cool man they look like regular sunglasses but they feel they have a little weight to them not gonna lie to you feel like what tech is supposed to feel like to anybody who isn't aware of you know the tech space or the ar vr right now they most definitely would not know that you were wearing glasses capable of well playing videos or playing content so just making our way around the glasses this is the right side of the glasses you have your speaker right here you have your brightness rockers your brightness keys and then this is your display on and off that does look like a microphone now that i really look at it but i'm not 100 percent sure on that on the left side you have the speaker and nothing else on the top there is nothing but just cool looking designs um i do want to know you do get fingerprints or grease marks so again just something that you want to keep up. another reason why you want to keep up with this microfiber cloth this does attract fingerprints very easily not gonna lie to you Okay, right here you have the little nose guards, but you are able to take these off and they come with, I want to say three total. I don't have them on me because it just took up space in this casing, but it comes with a small, medium, and large. And the, the medium was already on here, so I just kept it on. It's pretty comfortable. And right, also, you have this four foot cable. This cable connects to the glasses in the back. And then the other end connects to your device. So. In my normal use cases, I've been using it for my Steam Deck, definitely for gaming and that. And then I've also been using it for mobile gaming. So um, I emulate using the some of my some of my Android devices include something like this. So this is the Surface Duo, and I've definitely, honestly, been using it uh, specifically for this use case. It kind of brought life back into this into this broken unit, right? Like even though it's broken and even though it's um you know cracked it still has use like it, it's, it's kind of like a trophy and the fact that it's still working and it's still able to be used with some of my new tech is cool to me go ahead and put that back to the side because it has enough cracks on it already <laughs> this is the hdmi port cord whatever whatever you want to call it but again you can just plug it into pretty much any device but if you have an iphone you are going you are going to need a few other attachments i say a few but it's really just one you can get the little box thing but i have been seeing a on amazon that they have hdmi ports that they say are compatible to where you don't specifically need the the x-rail brand of everyday use case and what i've been using them for they've been pretty cool uh again just mainly gaming i do want to talk about though I, I haven't really gotten the full phone experience because again my, one my phone is cracked the phone that i was using for is cracked um and then two i wasn't able to get the true full full screen experience um through certain videos because again it was difficult for me to 
spread the screen across both of the screen and on the inside right here the glasses this is kind of where the sensor is at it's a sensor pretty much when it's on your face it kind of knows to make sure the screen is on and then when it's off your face it knows to turn the screen off but again you also have this button over here to where it's manual so when it's not in use it's not putting any power speaking of power these glasses don't have any batteries in them so that's another in my case it's kind of a plus because again i'm kind of tired of having to carry a lot of i'm not saying tired of carrying devices but i'm tired of having to carry well charge them all when something goes out it's with these it's cool because you just it's, it's pretty much pulling power from whatever device that you're using which i'm totally fine with at the end of the day they're just glasses with monitors in them if i were to go outside or if i were to sit in like a library or a starbucks or something like that and I had the glasses on. I'm, most people would not know that I'm watching content or doing whatever I'm doing with the glasses. Getting in some of the one of the cons, getting in some of the cons of the unit. The one con that I really have with this is just randomly when I didn't have the problem with the phone uh, per se. But when I'm playing with the Steam Deck, whether I'm in desktop or sometimes when I'm in gaming mode, the screen is just turned black. Like whether I'm in the middle of the game or if I'm just, you know, just kind of scrolling through looking for a game to play. The screen is just kind of black out. I don't know if that's a software thing or like an update that I probably need to go look up, but um, I didn't have that problem at all when I plugged it into the phone. Maybe it was just, yeah, I think it's, or it could have been also been because my battery was low on the Steam Deck. Um, I'm gonna probably test that out, but I'm probably about 85% sure that was, 85% sure that that was the issue because my Steam Deck was at around 12%. And then of course these glasses were pulling power and then it was just like back and forth for a minute. And then eventually I just gave up and decided to um, charge the steam deck so I'm, I'm again i'm pretty sure that was the issue with that um but yeah that's really the only con my favorite pro again is it just looks like normal glasses like compared to the meta quest or any of the meta units they're massive you feel me like you're wearing like you're wearing giant goggles and people just if people were to walk by and see that they're, they're immediately going to ask a lot of questions and like yo what is that what are you doing blah blah blah, blah. again these are more low-key these are more natural these are more well, more likely to um, wear these outside and find uh, even more use case for them so I guess if you did have an Android phone that kind of worked and it was like your main unit and you wanted this could be a nice little accessory for that and then you kind of would be able to do like your everyday use case things with that like scroll Instagram maybe answer a few um, text messages as long as you're not driving with them then yeah this should be a pretty good um, everyday experience I don't know, maybe we'll do a vlog that day. Leave a thumbs up if that's something you want to see.